There has been a lot of debate around here after the ABC and Fox networks refused to air a commercial for Lane Bryant's new lingerie. Now, the network said the spot was too hot for family hour, but Lane Bryant claims ABC and Fox pulled the plug because it starred a plus-size model. Would they have done the same for a Victoria's Secret commercial? Ashley Graham doesn't think so, and she is the Lane Bryant model at the center of this controversy, and she is here exclusively with us on the early show this morning. Good to have you with us. Thank you. So what do you think, right off the bat, if this is a Victoria's Secret model and everybody's a size two, does this thing air without any controversy? I mean, has there been any press about that? No. I mean, they, Victoria's Secret commercials are airing all throughout the day, but when it comes to a Lane Bryant commercial, we have a little bit of extra, you know, overflowing then you know everybody freaks out well do you think that's what it was was it because there's too much of you uh, I unlike think the so. Victoria's Secret models where there's not enough of them or was it I mean potentially the, the content I mean you, you know you're texting your go meet Dan. boyfriend or whoever your paramour <laughs> is in your underwear I mean was it something do you think maybe it would, there was a, a, a more underlying message there that they wanted to stay away from um, I don't think so I mean Considering that the Victoria's Secret models, you know, flaunt around and dance around wearing basically nothing. Um, and then for me, just to be getting ready to go see my boyfriend in my lingerie, I mean, I don't see much difference um, between the two stories. When you were making this commercial, yeah. did it at all enter your mind that this may stir up a little controversy? No. Oh, my goodness. I was so honored to uh, be a part of the commercial to represent women of my size, um, that we can be confident and sexy in our lingerie and to have it on television. So this week has been a total surprise to you. I mean, with yes. this controversy with the networks, when it you see yourself in the newspapers, and this is a nationwide story. And yeah, I mean, it's actually hilarious to me because, um, considering all of the press that Plus Girls have been getting lately, yeah. we've been naked in all different kinds of magazines. I'm naked in an Oprah magazine this month, um, and you know, this is a much bigger story than that. I. It's very shocking to me. Or did you ever think that maybe Lane Bryant was using you in a way to get a little bit more publicity their way? I mean, this has caused, I'm sure, more of an influx of attention to Lane Bryant than they could have ever imagined possible. Right. It's great for Lane Bryant. I don't think they were using me, um, per se, to make it a publicity stunt. Um, but I think that this is great for them. Um, but I don't think there was a publicity well, stunt. Well, I guess what I'm saying is, do you think that their their motivation, there may have been an ulterior motivation there with this commercial thinking that it would do something alone? Maybe you didn't realize there would be this controversy, but do you think the Lane Bryant people thought there might be? I have no idea. I haven't yeah. actually asked them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might be worth a question to them. Um, a ABC and Fox have both said, okay, we're not airing this ad. Now they've made some concessions. We're going to throw up some statements that both the ABC network and the Fox network um, have provided. Uh, the people at Lane Bryant say, you know what, we were treated differently, this and that. Okay. What are your thoughts now that, um, that this is actually going to air? Not in a necessarily family-friendly hour, but kind of in the, the, the back end of Dancing with the Stars and of American Idol. Um, it's actually sad. I mean, you know, I know that there's plenty of women my size watching American Idol, watching um, Dancing with the Stars. I would love to see what they look like um, on the television screen. And, you know, I feel bad for the plus women out there who can't um, see that. And that has to be like, you know, part of a discrimination. If Before we let you go, if, if you could speak to the networks right now, if you could look into the camera and say something to the people of the networks, what, what would you tell them? I mean, I'm just, you know, sorry that they wouldn't be able to air it. And, um, you know, maybe Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, but I guess it's uh, it's actually worked in your favor, though, right? Quite yeah. a bit of publicity. Mm -hmm. The modeling agency, I'm sure, is getting more calls than, yes. than normal. Love Ford. Yep. There you go. All right, Ashley, thank you very much. <laughs> thank Continue you very success. much. We wish you the best. All right. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.